So guys, welcome back to the channel. We are uh, getting ready for the car meet for this Sunday. Here it is. No, I haven't seen it. If you want to see it again, here it is. <laughs> but uh, we are getting the WX on the lift. Um, we're going to be uh, test fitting the V2 S style lip with the splitter. So no one really test that yet. Oh, haven't. So we're going to be the, we're going to try first and get you the correct hardware for that. And then as well as we're going to be installing our carbon fiber kit for the car meet. So our carbon fiber front lip S style. We have the S style carbon fiber side skirts, and we're gonna stack our Aeroflow stuff under this one. It's sick, hard looks slammed. And then, uh, so the car's gonna be a little bit down. Oh, also, we're gonna be, let me show you guys what we're gonna be doing to the front. So, we have some uh, rock chips on the front lower grill area right now because of the car meet that we had, a very awesome first car meet. So, can't really tell because the car's wet, but it's these little chips like that. So, I'm pretty OCD, you know? I don't know about you guys, but with this kind of stuff, oh, you got some rock chips here too on the wrap. It really bothers me. So, we're gonna put the car on lift today, take all this off, take everything off actually, and then uh, get this painted. We done, yeah. Hopefully by Sunday it'll look clean. And it might rain, guys. So if it rains, just show up anyways. You know, rain or shine, just show up. It's gonna be fun. You know, we won't stay out too long. Also, I have a couple parts update for you guys. The grill. We have an OEM grill coming out. Okay, the uh, sport grill without the emblem. It's gonna be emblem deleted. You know, so pretty sick for those that you know don't want to wait for uh, OEM one or just want a little cheaper option. We're gonna have that available for you guys. Um, our hood's coming in soon from Saibon. We're gonna install that, and uh, that's gonna look super sick. We're gonna. I'll show you the, I'll tell you the details later about exactly what we can do on that. We have another version three lip that I'm developing right now with the, the guys in there. So pretty cool. Stay tuned for that. And uh, I want to get this car pro tuned. So I'm going to do something really wild that no one's done before. Plan to get the OEM cat. I'm going to chop it off and then get a pro tune. So I'll get some pretty good power, hopefully. Pretty much essentially we're running a catalyst down pipe. Um, but no one makes a J pipe yet. Sorry, not catalyst J pipe. No one makes a catalyst J pipe yet. So we'll be the first kind of just make our own and get a pro tune, shoot big ass flames and uh, Hopefully we don't blow motor. So the tuners was, it was uh, I was talking to this tuner in SoCal. They were like, ah, oh, you might blow yourself. You know, but if you still want to do it, you're down. You know, I think it'll be okay. You know, if you're pushing like conservative power, not pushing too much power. You know? But uh, yeah, that's it for that. Oh, 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 oh! Before let me head to the back. Um, you guys know that exhaust, our current axle backs, uh, they're selling great, guys. Thanks for the support. We sold like I think we pre-sold almost like 300 of these already. <laughs> Something like that. that's crazy. All sold already. So they'll be shipping out end of this uh, month, end of January. Um, we're also building a single exit titanium exhaust. Okay, single. So it's gonna be like seven pounds ish, give or take seven to eight. I don't know exact numbers off the top of my head. But it's gonna be uh, come with a resonator. It's gonna be completely blue, like the piping, <laughs> like our M3 exhaust <laughs> we have here. So it's gonna be full titanium, burnt all blue. And then I'm also going to have uh, 10 of those single exits in gold. So like a limited edition, like only 10 of them. Actually, nine of them, because I'm taking number one. Yeah. So gold titanium, guys. Super sick, super lightweight, so very limited, exclusive. I'm gonna give you some insights now, but today we're gonna get the car in the lift. We are gonna take the car apart. We are gonna also go car hunting. That's right, we are actually gonna pick up another shop car. So I'm gonna need you guys help on this one because uh, our owner wants to get another car. We wanna make some parts and develop. We have some cars in mind already, but um, we're not sure exactly which route to take it. So we're gonna go drive some cars, hopefully today in this video, if not the next video, and then and use your insights. So comment below, let us know what car we should pick up. Uh, something around like thirty to forty thousand dollars can be too expensive. Uh, originally we we're looking at Z, but impossible to get right now. Type R, impossible to get right now without paying like seventy, eighty thousand dollars. You could buy M3 for that price. Uh, we are looking at a Hyundai uh, Elantra N. That was pretty good. And the other option is um, I don't know yet. <laughs> That's why I heard right now only Elantra N. But yeah, comment below, let us know uh, what car we should pick. So in the meantime, let's get started on taking the bumper off. Alright guys, for those who are running the S1 lip or S2 lip, uh, you have to run spacers inside, right? Even with S, uh, OEM STI lip 2, you have a splitter already and you don't have a, or you plan to get a lip, you can always hit us up and then, you know, ask for these hardwares. I think like $10 or something like that, 20 bucks. You can ask them for the hardware and they send you the correct hardware. Or, you know, or, any, like, or vice versa. If you don't have a splitter or you have a lip ready, you can always ask us for these hardwares when you order your splitter. So um, that's that. We're gonna go ahead and take this off, mount the, uh, the version 2 S style lip. And then uh, we're gonna see what kind of spacers we need. And once that's confirmed, we can, for those ordering, we can get that out for you guys. So let me go ahead and get start taking this off. Okay, 
Okay, so that was a uh, test fitting. We got the hardware ready to go. So if you do order a V2 S style lip uh, with the splitter, we can, we can give you the correct hardware. So in the meantime, I'm gonna take this off, take our uh, three piece uh, lower grill out so we can get this repainted at our body shop because of the other rock chips and try and get ready for this Sunday, you know? Let's do that. So you gotta take these two clips off here and everything's holding by tabs, right? So you go ahead, just pop these off. Get it painted like white or something. White? You think so? Wheels, yeah. Dude, that's such a ricer, Jerry. <clears throat> Actually, yeah, you know what? That's yeah, comment below if you want to, if you want us paint it white. So camera man says paint it white, but I don't I don't think that look pretty, I think it'll look kinda tacky. <laughs> it's easier once it's on the car. <laughs> Huh? You should run like that. Alright guys, so we have our three piece off. We're gonna send this to the body shop. Get it back hopefully by this Friday and then we can uh, reinstall that. So uh, that's how you take off your uh, lower uh, grill. Uh, we will offer these in paint match later in the future. But in the meantime, I think we're done with this car. Oh, let me let me show you these. Here's our uh, some lip differences we have. Uh, this is the OEM STI lip. We have our V2 and we have our carbon fiber OEM style front lip, which we'd have time and solid. All right guys, so you saw Jerry take off all the parts on this uh, brand new BB. He's doing, cus customer is doing the uh, painted flares and then the rear bumper, which we just took off over there. So, and then we have another one, which you've seen this before. Uh, she's here for um, the whole kit, like the whole shebang. She got the rear bumper, not the whole kit, but just the rear bumper, color match with gloss black, the fender flares, and then the front bumper lower grill. So it's gonna look pretty sick. Uh, another thing is, uh, I keep seeing these uh, GTs, you know, every time, by the way, this is a GT model. Every time we say GT, we feel like, man, we should've got a higher trim, but it's nice, you know? Uh, and it's also automatic, which is not a bad thing. You know, I wanna talk about this because a lot of people think driving automatic WRX is bad, you know? People are so much like haters online. Oh, it's automatic. But to be honest, we're like in 2023 already, pretty much. Automatic DCT dual clutch transmission, they are the new technology now. It's faster than manual, you know, depending on how good you drive. And plus, um, I think with the automatic, it gives a lot of new windows opportunities for new enthusiasts, you know? Um, this WRX is a female owned enthusiast, which is nice too, you know? So we have a lot more, female? like, I guess, branches out to more customers now. So, and also pretty sick, you know? I think when I see a girl driving WRX, sexy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in a good way, you know? Very, very awesome. So, diversifies, you know, like, the whole car scene, you know? So. Pretty sick. I, there's nothing wrong with automatics. And there's nothing wrong with manual. You know, um, I think for me, on the weekend, manual for sure. On an everyday basis, especially in Los Angeles, I don't want to drive a manual every day. You know, maybe when I was like 18, 19, when I was young. But now, like, I feel old, kind of tiring. You know, my leg days. So I, I, I would do enough leg day at the gym already. I want another leg day you know, <laughs> after the gym. But aside from that, it's on, you can't go wrong with either manual or automatic. But anyways, we took out the parts already. We are gonna go to a dealership and possibly pick up our next shop car. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go to a Honda dealership and check out the new, uh, you'll see in a bit. <laughs> so we're at the Honda dealership right now. Um, we're in the new Elantra N. And pretty much this car is pretty interesting. Six B manual. Look at this dash right here, right? <laughs> it's better than the WRX. <laughs> Get the lighting, a lot of good technology for the money. It's about the same price as WRX. And this is pretty much fully loaded. And then, uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. A lot of gloss by accident. I don't know what these are. Rev match, I think. Oh, rev match. Oh, it does? Yeah, that's oh. rev match. So we're gonna take a spin in the automatic one first, and then we're gonna try out the manual version. Most likely, and look, it has buckets, these two, and lighter. And lit up. Dude, it makes the WRX look like trash, bro. Oh, I think she locked this in. Oh, shit, I think she locked this in. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> but let me see. Yeah, guys. Um, Enjoy these bureaus. I'm gonna talk to the sales and then we'll get some more information. DCT first. Well, most likely get the automatic one if we do get it. I mean, sorry, the manual one. <laughs> um, so this is like a pretty much, this one looks pretty nice too. They come with stock Michelin Pilot Sport 4S. Super nice already. Um, damn, for the budget, for the bang, you know, for the bang of the buck, I think this car is pretty good. Um, we're gonna be obviously making a front lip, a splitter, and all the good stuff. Um, what do you think, cameraman? Any questions? 
How do you feel about it? Our license plate needs to go. Yeah, for sure. Um, a lot of plastic. Um, very, and then you got the upgraded brakes too, right? The main thing is the tires, which I really like. And it has a LSD too, so you can like kind of whip this around. <laughs> and the most important, it has a rev match on the manual, which is, wow, I think it's a nice feature. I'm not really a big fan of the red kit, in my opinion. Um, uh, color match it? Yeah, probably color match will look better. So. What's this button? <laughs> Give me a countdown. <laughs> something. Shift. So it says it improves zero to sixty acceleration. Oh, if I press that? At a, at a press of a button, this mode is designed to maximize performance for up to twenty seconds at a time. Think of it as an overboost. Oh, it's like a NOS. <laughs> it's like Fast and Furious. <laughs> You're a NOS. That's crazy. Condition's not met. How's the, how's the heat and seat? Oh, you turn it on? No wonder, man. It's on the highest level yeah, too. My ass was on burning. I was like, what is that? I was like, kind of warm in here. Yeah, those seats are nice. I like the bucket seats. But I like the infotainment system. It's really nice. It's actually pretty sick. And it gives you the paddles, the steering, the steering wheels. Yeah, huh? Yeah. It was on Sport Mode Max, man. The steering was really good. Very stiff. Very stiff, yeah. All right, guys. So um, this car, after driving it in automatic, of course, if the technology is very nice, okay, compared to our WRX, technology blows WRX out the window, 100%. Um, I don't know if it, I don't know if it's like the car had Michelin's on it, but it feels okay. Okay, Let, let's say like if you were to like lower it, everything. Yeah. Okay. The tires. How how would it handle? I think. The way it handles right now, it's okay, not bad. Uh, on the sport mode, everything's stiff. The steering wheel is super stiff, very responsive. Again, I didn't even push it that hard. Uh, I actually I did, but <laughs> the 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 response is pretty pretty good, not bad. The bucket seats are re what I really like, you know. That's one thing. But the car looks kind of, you know, looks looks a little um, not funny looking, but <laughs> it's like I feel like the front end reminds me of like a nice aggressive shark. And the back is kind of like, maybe the spoiler is throwing me off. I, I'm, I'm not feeling that little mini spoiler. I don't even know why they put that spoiler there. Let's throw an STI wing on that thing. <laughs> no, but uh, for the price though, look at this. MSRP, right? Comes out to 34. So it's about 3,000 more for the WRX, but you definitely get a lot more stuff. But obviously it's front wheel drive, which I don't really like front wheel drives. I never owned a Honda before in my life, so. But nowadays, tech, uh, Hyundai's doing pretty good with their stuff. I mean, if we were to get this, it looks pretty low already, huh? It's probably called because it's on 19s. Is it 19s? Let me check. These are on 19s, yeah. Oh, five, five, I think 5x114. Five Is it? Yeah. So you go swap the wheels over. If anything, I'll put some T's. If I put some T's on this thing, you know, put some uh, AFD wheels. I don't know how aggressive can you can fit because it looked like this looked like a 18, no, 19 by like eight and a half. That's kind of small, so. But lower it with some wheels, paint match the red. Put a lip kit on it, splitter, and then we'll black out the, you know, we'll make some overlays. I think the car is not bad. I definitely, huh? Yeah, it's matte. Yeah. But check out the bucket seats though. Like, holy sh. Yeah, this is where the money is at. I think this alone, if the WX came like this, stock, dude, the, the, the best selling car ever for this year, in my opinion. But uh, we're not looking at this one because this is automatic and it's black. 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 The one inside is one I, I was looking at. like black. <laughs> I, I don't like black cars, okay? Nothing wrong with black cars. It's so sexy and it's clean, but like when it's not, dude, holy sh**. Excuse my language. But yeah, I mean, overall design, the car, it looks pretty clean. A lot of stuff going on in the back. Like, look, if you stand over here, you have the reflex. This, this sort of looks like a, a Ventador. It kind of does. Ventador. Yeah, this looked like a, our owner had a Ventador before. He had a little wing. It looks kind of similar. But I would take this off. Put a duck bill spoiler. We'll make a duck bill spoiler. I would debadge all these letters. Like, there's so much going on, like the red with the red. And then, I mean, this is nice as the third brake light, you know? Yeah, comment below, guys. Let me know what we think. Should we, should we pick this up or should we look at something else? Does, the, does that light work? Yeah, this is a third brake light. But, like I said, there's so much things going on. But let's, let's go check out the gray one. Let's not look like at this one anymore. Let's go look at the gray one.
All right guys, so dealership here, they're asking 33.9 MSRP and then they want $4,000 markup. You can, you get, uh, Jerry, you can do the math. And then $3,000 for accessories, like, you know, like lame stuff, like uh, paint protection, you know, like PPF, we can do it ourselves. So it was a 34,000 plus 4,000 for Marco plus 3,500 for 41,500, not including tax uh, registration and fees like that. So that come out to almost $50,000 for a Hyundai. All right, nothing against Hondas, but $50,000, you can get a nice BMW 330 or, you know, something in that ballpark number, you know? So I counter offer them uh, if they're willing to take all that crap off, which, you know, obviously the market, we shouldn't pay any market for any car, okay? Uh, and all the accessories, I don't want those stuff either. If they do MSRP, we'll take their car, potentially take the car. So, you know, um, but in the meantime, we don't yet. I mean, I, I like the car, you know? I like automatic, cause- You don't like the black. I don't like the black and I don't like automatic. I mean, automatic's pretty good on this one, but with the like, fake exhaust sound, I don't know, it's kind of weird, but <laughs> the car is nice though. It's okay. Not bad for a Hyundai, you know, not bad. They came a long way. I remember my friend's Hyundai accent 10 years ago. I, I, I hung on the, this, this part and it came off. It broke off. <laughs> Dead ass. I'm not, I'm not even over exaggerating. That was crazy. I was like, dude, I never buy a Hyundai and here we are today. But anyway, you know, um, for the shop, you know, we're going to make some super dope arrow. And this is a competitor for the WRX actually. So imagine all this interior in the WRX. Remember, you have the power, okay? Just because you like a car doesn't mean you have to, you know, like stay there and like have them grind you down, make you exhausted and talk numbers back and forth. Just be straight up. This is what I want. You don't want it? I bounce. We're good to go. You good? Okay,